Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for popping in to see what I'm up to. Doing a bit of a stop, take, and clean up of this mess. Yep. This is all our medical preps. So I've got to check them all out. I have to change a few things, move things around. Oh, excuse my um, camera work today. It's a bit hard to film. So what do I have to do today? Oh, I'm going through this big box of stuff to see what we've got, what I need to get more of. It's a mess. <laughs> and just show you what we've got in our first aid supplies might inspire you for things that you might not have thought of so and this was doing my head in because um yeah i like everything done properly everything in its place if you know what i mean all right what am i going to start with all right excuse the kids next door they're playing this is just our, our general first aid kit. Um, hang on, I'm going to show, we'll close it all up for you so you can see. It's just in a little box like that. I actually grabbed that from Aldi. It was on special, I think it was about $29. So it, it comes with a fair few things. Um, hang on, I better pop that up bit for you so you can see move that a bit closer so we've added like some super glue for wound closures um, that's just your standard stereo strips for wound closures uh, of course we've got a face mask in there so this is just for at home we've got some aspen there we've got a pen oh Maybe I should change this pen. What do you reckon? <laughs> nah, best funeral director in town. And then we've got a torch if need be. Um, then we go down. So all the bits that have got some John's ambulance on, it actually came with the kit. So we've got bandages, wound dressings, there's some hand sanitizer thrown in. Oh, I've popped in extra glass, uh, glasses, gloves. <laughs> so that one is, I have no idea, but it came with the kit. Um, agents threw in some condoms because they can come in very handy if needed, you know, to protect things, etc. Not just on your Johnson. And then it also came with a basic first aid book in it as well. But I would suggest to go and get um, first aid training if you haven't already. So it's come with quite a bit of stuff in there. You've got scissors and splinter things and safety pins. They're just uh, ladies sanitary napkins because they make a good wound dressing. And of course, we've got stuff like um, eye wash, saline eye wash. We've got your alcohol pads. So we've got band aids, ball swabs. There's a cold pack in there as well. Um, I threw in these extra large um, band aids. But of course, we've got an emergency blanket triangular bandage and plastic bag in case you need it so yeah this one is just a grab at home type one we have first aid kits in our cars as well um, and of course we've got our trauma kit which there is a video of I'll pop a link in down below 
so if you wanted to have a look at that you could I'm not going to pull it all out of its packaging today I'm just adding a couple of things into that so I'll stick that gloves in there um, yeah so that's your basic first aid kit at home just grab it use it um, and then of course it's easier at home to have the the big tub thing but okay so what I actually also have to do today is well, if you haven't got one of these guys get one they're absolutely amazing I can't do without in summer um, really good too if you've got kids with fevers or heat stroke stuff like that so we got a couple of extra bits and pieces for the trauma kit I'm thinking we might need to start getting a bigger box <laughs> it's looking a bit full in there so we grabbed a uh, emergency trauma bandage also known as an Israeli bandage can be used as um, a tourniquet as well yeah I think we really need a new box for this <laughs> actually I do have to partly unpack it because I need to get to this which is the other first aid kit we've got and why I want to get to that is um, we'd already put oops, sorry guys knocking you over we'd um, already put some clamps in here but I'm taking them out because I can put them in our at home first aid kit I can get them so these are just your normal artery forceps or needle forceps, whatever you want to call them. Just locking um, scissors. So I'll pop them in with the at home one because I actually ordered this. So if you haven't seen one of them, they actually come with a full kit of scissors and needle holders, etc. So that'll go in there. Yes, Ramesses, can I help you? What do you want? You're in on all my videos, aren't you? So in this kit, you also get a heap of needles and sutures. Excuse me, Ramesses, I'm busy. And you also get a nice little thing to practice on as well, which apparently Agent's going to start doing, just to freshen himself up. Ramesses! Excuse me, peoples. I have very rude cats today. Um, so, yeah, that's just your suturing stuff all loaded up with a needle. So, the skin thing's going to stay in its little box. But the rest of it will be going in here. Um... There's not really enough room for it to go in there. So I won't do that. Alright, there we go. You're good on you. Forgot to put things back. And so yeah, this is our trauma kit. Gee whiz. <laughs> All our pins in here. Are either um, cemeteries or crematoriums or funeral directors. Can't half tell I'm a funeral director, can you? <laughs> Pens everywhere. All right. So I don't think I'm even going to attempt to put this all back together. It's a mess. So yeah, I'm going to throw all those things in there. I'm going to sort them all out. But you get the idea. The extra stuff that's gone in there. So 
move that out of the way. That's just an old first aid kit that I emptied and pillaged and it's just full of masks now. And we've also got a big box of masks as well. We all have our different opinions on how they work or don't work. I actually do use them only because, or mainly because I um, have a compromised immune system. So I'd rather not get other people's germs. So what else have we got in this store? Now, I do suffer from chronic pain, hence we've stocked up a fair bit on um, over-the-counter meds. They're pretty cheap just to pick up like from Audi or Woolies, you only need to get the, the no-name brands. They do exactly the same thing for half the price. So these are all pain meds. So you got your Panadols, you got your Ibuprofen, Aspirin. I do need to get more Aspro Clear. So that's got to go down on my list. Um, Panadol Osteo, there's some more like, little ones I can pop in my handbag, we've got some decongestant nasal sprays, more Panadol Osteo, um, this is all um, that saline nasal spray, uh, another decongestant there then I've also got the um, daily wash kit for your sinuses in case you need it um, I've got stuff everywhere I really do need to clean this up I've got some sports tape some Advil which is ibuprofen we've got oh, why is this one and this one maybe I ran out of room in the other one so, um, doing a tap for your cough, colds and flus and sore throats. That's supposed to be in the other drawer. Um, some Opsite, that too is supposed to be in the other drawer. People have been raiding my supplies. Uh, cold flu tablets. Um, so I'm trying to keep all the tablet things in here. I think that was my logic. <laughs> So yeah, get uh, cold and flu stuff you might need. Um, yet again, another one. I found um, online chemists very helpful to get these things at a better price. So I've got electrolytes as well. A fair few of them. That goes over there. So yeah, I've got the hydrolyte. I've got Barocca some more of your standard hydrolyte. Never know when that comes in handy. I don't really love it when people destroy what you've already done. <laughs> some honey drops for your throat. Now I've got a couple of odds and sods. Um, prescription meds that you never know might come in handy. I've got uh, vitamin B1. I've got some water eliminator. More vitamin B1. So these are just basically um, all my vitamins that are in the stockpile that we go through. So some more immune defense as well Get out of the way. so yeah just vitamins that you use on a day-to-day -day basis um, I'm actually going with my teas I do it's a very good a very good tea actually I like that one so yeah all the vitamins I work through them do a constant rotation and of course, you've got stuff like your citrovescent for UTIs, di diarrhea relief, 
stuff that you can't go. I've got the tablets and the suppositories. Um, more gastro stop and Donna tab, which is um, yeah for your tummy too, especially if you've got irritable bowel syndrome. Oh, I've got some Tiger Balm. And, oh, that's another pharmacy, well, prescription one. Then, of course, other little bits in here. Oh, if you not being able to go, etc. Heartburn relief. Some adult bisolin for chest and coughs and stuff. Um, and I also grabbed some caffeine and paracetamol, which is good for migraines as well as aspirins. But do your own research. I'm not a medical professional. Okay, I'll quickly go through this one as I sort it out. Um, I've got Gaviscon for heartburn. I've got more Barocca in here. So this box here is sort of like my overflow from the drawer, I guess. I think I've got a system. Um, oh, look at that. Okay, these all need to go over here. Then these ones are like your, um, like your Telfast and your Finergan, all antihistamines. Good for stings as well etc um, these are actually baby sterilizing tablets if you haven't seen them before to use on bottles etc um, and I've got, like they're a cold water sterilizer I've also gotten some of these wipes as well in here more Barocca hairy lemon um, these are in here because I tried them and they didn't work so I put them in here that makes sense, right? Um, also for your nose, if you've got a cold, they do work actually. I tried them out. They helped a lot. We've got stuff in here like, you know, lip balms. That one needs to go in there. I've actually got more than what I thought. <laughs> There's another hay fever one as well. John always calls it my, my chemist shop. So if we go over here. Now what I've also got in here is Ventolin Puffer. I always check my dates. Oh, that one's due to be replaced. So I must remember to get another script when I see my doctor this month. It's very rarely that I need to use them. Just some hand warmers because we had a couple of them. Um, I don't want to make this too long and bore you, so I'll zip through things. Okay, sore throat lozenges, um, tubular bandages, another one. Now I also have in here, which is good to have, is a diabetic monitoring kit, so you can do sugar levels. Oh. I do have to get more testing strips on that so that's another one on the list jelly beans which is good if people's blood sugar is low it's a splinter thing I have a couple wrist things um, emergency blanket some magnesium gel with arnica in it. A couple of, oh, well, that's a thermometer. It's a steroid cream. Um, then you know, another one for your coughs and colds. <laughs> um, also in here, I have a BP cuff as well. I'm actually going to put that into the more first aid kit, I think, for that one. So I won't bore you with me sorting out all this stuff. I better put that back. And then, like, 
just some dressing packs. Um, waterproof protector if you need it. Um, I've got another cold pack there. There, splinter probes. And I've got extra bandages in here as well. So if I need to stock up the home first aid kit, I can. So that is a quick overview of the medical stuff we've got that needs a big clean and sort. So I hope you found this interesting. If there's um, anything you got questions on or you think we should add. Oh, another thing I've also been putting away, ferreting away, glasses. All sorts of different glasses, different strengths. Some of my old glasses, some of my son's old glasses. You never know, someone may need a pair. It's just an extra in there. So yeah, so if you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. Um, I should give you an overview of how much this, this is. Yeah, my pharmacy. If I can get up there, because I'm sitting on the floor. I'm too old to be sitting on the floor trying to get this stuff done. All right, there we go. Oh. That's the majority of our medical preps. So yeah, if you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, we'd really, really appreciate it. And hit that bell notification so you know every time we upload a new video. Catch ya.